All right, guys. I'm at Walters. I don't remember how big the cornbread was. It seemed like it was bigger than that, but I haven't eaten here in quite some time, and they didn't give me nothing to eat with. Okay, I can't blame that on that. The um, fork and stuff, you have to grab it as you walk out. It's on a little dispenser thing. They did not have the oxtail. They did not have the oxtails. She tell me they only serve oxtails now on Sundays. They used to sell oxtails all the time. They also have changed the the way the kitchen is. The kitchen used to be on that side. No, on that side when you walk in. Now the kitchen is straight ahead when you walk in. Um, new little slim lady is the manager now. And pinto beans are swinging, y'all. Oh, did I show y'all what this look like? Yeah, meatloaf, macaroni and cheese, pinto beans with rice. Y'all know I gotta have my rice. Got to have my rice. Okay. Okay. The um the meat though got a nice little twang to it. Oh hell. You know something had to be messed up. The rice don't have any season in it. No season. So I'm gonna have to take my pinto bean and mix it in with my rice because um, I gotta have some flavor in my rice. It's no fun eating rice without your pinto bean. I mean, without some flavor. Let's see what the cornbread tastes like. They used to have some really good cakes here. It seemed like they did. Let's see what the cornbread tastes like. My like cornbread. It's not bad. It's got almost a little bit of jiffy cornbread mix. I mean, just very slight. It's not bad. Nothing to brag off of either. It's damn sure not too hard. I don't like cornbread. It's real hard. Macaroni and cheese. I mean, the mac and cheese. Yeah, macaroni and cheese. It's um pretty decent. Tell you what I don't like. The damn floor, the ground out there is real greasy. I mean the whole ground is greasy. Why is the ground greasy? I had to be careful standing up in my truck because I'd slip off the damn running board. All right, the meatloaf again. It's pretty good meatloaf. I ain't gonna lie to you. Seem got seem like it's got. I'm tasting mustard in the meatloaf. Not real strong, but that's what I'm getting a taste of. This rice need, really needs some salt on it. Or some hot sauce or something to give me some flavor. I tried mixing the pinto beans up in there, but the damn rice was so blamed that 
and uh, ate up the salt. I mean, the salt that's in the uh, pinto bean. But I'm gonna taste them. I used to get the oxtail, which is, I think, it was like $15 the last time I ate here. It's the first time I ever went to, went there. I don't ever get nothing but oxtail. Nothing but oxtail. So this is like the first time I ever went there and got a plate for under $10. And I've been going there, guy, for over 30. I ain't gonna say 30 years. I started, when did I start? I don't know, probably 95, 2005, two, 95, 2000, 95, 2005, 2015, so about 25 years. I started eating there, but I wanted to make a video I told her I was gonna put the food on YouTube. Why didn't I get something to drink? I think they used to have some good sweet tea. I forgot to ask them, they still have them. I think. Somebody used to have some good sweet tea. By the way, 394 Cleveland Avenue or Cleveland Plaza. 394 Cleveland Avenue. Just west of 75. North, south, yeah, just west of 75. Across from Old South package store next to the shell station I used to work at the crystal over there some years ago I don't even remember what year I, think I used to work at night that was funny I never seen a police, a line of city policeman get pushed around. One night it was a little short policeman worked there. But I got. And this big old black guy, him and like two other people came in there and something happened. I don't remember what happened. But they told him to leave. And he was kind of like taking a little sweet time to leave. And he walked outside, he held the door. The officer grabbed the door and went to pull the door closed. He grabbed the door and when he yanked the door, he yanked the policeman with it, right? And it was the first time I'd ever seen an Atlanta City cop, well, except for the two white guys that were chasing the black guy some years ago. All right, that's another story. But he yanked the door and when he yanked the door, he yanked the police outside the damn crystal. The cop called 911, he called somebody. And it was about 10 police cars came up here. Atlanta City, but the guy was gone by then. But I had never seen an Atlanta City cop get pushed around like that. Now, what I say some years ago, In front of my buddy's house, the police had pulled over this brother. It was a dead end street. I had never seen the guy before, never seen the guy car. So we, we don't know why he was down there, but the car pulled him over. Two white cops, little short white men. They trying to arrest him. He's running around the police car and they running after him. We like, why don't one of y'all go the other way that way you run into him? And they must have heard us because one of them stopped 
he ran the other way. And when he ran into the black guy, the black guy just threw his ass, threw him away, right? He ran around the car some more. So finally, about this time we hear the sound of a V8 cop, cop car coming down the street, you know, coming down the street. He come over the hill, he come over the hill, he hit the brakes and he slid from the top of that hill down to the police car and ran in the back of one of the police cars. I'm not kidding. Big old black guy jumps out the car and they still running around the damn car. He run up and hit the guy one time, knocked him down. And two white guys, when he knocked the guy down, the guy fell on top of one of the white guys, one of the cops. And they put handcuffs on him. That was the first time I seen cops get pushed around. Atlanta City cops, that is. But anyway. Yeah, I wish I had gotten some salt put on these on. Um, and it'd be funny, the damn mac, mac and cheese seems like it needs salt now. It's like I tasted that first, but now I don't taste it no more. You know, don't tell me Walters done cheaped out on food like everybody else has. Everybody trying to save money. Food quality ain't worth a damn no more. But I'll tell you what, there used to be a restaurant in South Atlanta called, it was John Fire Foods. Then they changed it to Georgia Fire Food. And then they changed it back to John Fire Food. Don't ask me why. It was on Georgia, I mean, it was on Jonesboro Road. They had some good ass food. But they um, caught fire to burn down for some damn reason. They had been there for a long time also. You couldn't get in there on a Sunday. They had really good food, really good dessert. If I went home, I would have dumped a bunch of hot sauce on this um, rice. But I got some other places I want to go today. Don't know where. Where did I want to go? Don't remember. Well, I guess it was worth the nine dollar. But I thought I was gonna get to eat some oxtails on on um, site. I am quite full. Cool.